Welcome back to the channel guys, my name's Andy R and this is the Brotherhood of Men, a channel solely dedicated, <coughs> excuse me, a channel solely dedicated to getting you men out there the best outcome in your lives and I do that by making these videos, giving you my opinion on certain subjects, sometimes it's a news article, <coughs> excuse me, and sometimes it's um, talking in general terms or passing on information that I know to you. It's quite literally an old head giving information to you younger heads out there or guys who just don't know this information. So what's today's subject? Today's subject is SMV. What's SMV? SMV is sexual marketplace value and more specifically how women have no idea what their sexual marketplace value is. And one reason that they don't know what their SMV is is because they don't talk to us men. They don't ask us what it is we're looking for. They don't communicate with us. They tell us all of the time about their expectations, what they want out of a relationship, what they want out of life in general but they don't come and ask the very people that they are quite literally offering themselves to and women are offering themselves to men you see it that a woman quite literally in every shape and form is desperately thirsty for a man's attention you don't believe me go on TikTok go on Twitter Go on Instagram, go on YouTube and look at all of these women's dating advice gurus, which makes me laugh because half of them haven't got a ring on their finger, haven't uh, got a long-term relationship, yet they're giving advice to other women about how to catch your man, how to do this, how to do that. You women, if any women are watching this video and you want to know what a man wants and what your value is to them, ask a man. And if he's honest, he'll tell you. So SMV, sexual marketplace value, it goes, it's that old scale of one to 10. Where do they fit? Well, for a start, there are no tens. Let's get that out of the way to begin with. There are no tens. There might be a 9.9 .9 or even a 9.99, .99, or in very rare occasions, a 9.999, .99, but there will never be a 10. So any woman who tells you she's a 10, she's delusional, get away from her, she's not mentally well. No, the reason there are no 10s is, there are no 10s is because 10 is perfection. I've yet to meet a perfect person, perfect man or a perfect woman. We all come with our own baggage and our own problems and our own faults. We know this. We men... We're, we're our own biggest critics. We, we know our faults to, to a T. We know exactly where we fall down. But women, oh no, they, you see that? They've lived their lives avoiding responsibility and avoiding, uh, and avoiding accountability for so long that now they actually think that they are a 10. So let's break it down. The prettier and younger you are, and fitter, the higher your SMV. So if you're an 18 year old super fit cheerleader with beautiful looks, you've got a very high SMV. The older you get, the more your SMV comes down. Because we men know the older you get, the more damaged you get, the more chaotic you get, and the less likely you are to become a helpmate to us. So your SMV drops as you get older. From 18 onwards, you're in a race. Not with us, but with biology. With your internal biological clock. You can't escape that clock. You can't change the outcome of that clock. It's ticking away all the time. By the time you get to 30, we know how desperate you are for male attention. You have been thirsting after male attention like a vampire thirsts after blood. You quite literally, you quite literally are attention vampires. We know this as men. We know this. We know it's true. We see it all the time. We, there, there are websites now out there 
of quite literally women offering themselves to men with the only thing they have to offer which is their body and their looks your looks fade your personality is what's going to last and that's the thing that scares we guys because your personality as you get older gets more and more damaging to us so the younger you are the fitter you are and the more attractive you are the higher smv you have now women have convinced themselves for some unknown reason known to as man that you think that if you're better educated and have a better paying job your smv goes up it doesn't it means absolutely nothing to us number one your money is your money we don't have access to it so we don't care how much you have of it we don't care if you make a dollar a month or if you make a million dollars a week it means nothing to us because we don't have access to it our money means something to us and what we spend our money on means something to us not yours your education the same thing means nothing to us we don't care if you you've come out valedictorian in your university we don't care if you left with a basic education of high school all we know is that your education isn't adding anything to us our education is important to us what we know is important to us not what you know and women have convinced themselves that all of that adds to their smv their sexual marketplace value and it doesn't sorry ladies but it really doesn't men we already know this so once a woman comes out of university and unfortunately it's not going to be a great experience for them they're going to have some pretty um, radical ideas about what it is to be a man and a woman together university corrupts but there you go anyway so they'll come out thinking that they've got a super high SMV. They're now in their 20s, 25, 26, 27. Depends on when they started university, how long the course was, and, and what degree they were going for. If they've gone into a, something like law or uh, medicine, then that's, um, that's even longer. And it ongoing as well, that education continues. I mean, a medical student becomes a junior doctor and can be a junior doctor for 20, 30 years. A lawyer starts off at the bottom of the pecking order and has to continue learning more and more law to, to move on in their career. That's the same for men or women. So it's ongoing. But that doesn't, increase, that doesn't improve or increase your SMV to we men. We men know your SMV comes down to simple biology. How young are you? How attractive are you? And how fit are you? If you're unfit unattractive and are getting on in years but you have a great job you have your own house you have your own car you have a great income that doesn't mean that your smv is any higher than it truly is it's not we men are attracted to young fit and feminine so i'm sorry ladies your smv does not improve with your job prospects your income and what you own it just doesn't not for as men the second thing is if you have a child if you have a child ladies let me tell you this we men probably not going to tell you it but i am you've just halved your value if in looks you are fairly young pretty attractive and are fit so on a normal scale you'd be around about a seven a six you've just halved that because you've got a child in tow you're now a three three and a half if you're an eight you're now a four so those guys that you're looking at that you think because you're you've given yourself an smv of around eight or nine because all women do a few women are absolute narcissists and say i'm a 10 when in actual fact they know they're not and we look at them and go, no, you're not. You're about a five. And that's nothing bad being a five. Five's average. 
Five is it's what most of us are. Most people are average, male or female. We're average, we're run of the mill. This is why there is average. Because that's where most people congregate. We guys know this. In fact, we, with our SMVs, we tend to downplay ourselves. Oh yeah, I'm only a three or a four, but hey, you know, hope, hope, hope springs eternal that I'll get myself a seven or a eight. We guys do that. We, we jokingly and seriously sometimes put ourselves down. Women are the absolute buyer, the polar opposite. They big themselves up and worse still, their friends big them up. They tell them, any man would be happy to get with you. You're a goddess. You're a princess. You've got so much to offer a man. They tell each other this nonsense because, like I said in a previous video, women tell great stories. And that's one they tell to each other, is that they are all absolute bosses. They are all absolute divas. They're all queens. They're all this, that and the other. And you're not. Because if you're all queens, what's so special about being a queen? It's like a highlighter market in a book, in a textbook. If you highlight everything on the page, what stands out? Nothing. So telling yourself you're a queen, you're actually doing yourself, you're doing yourself a disservice. If you want to know where your SMV is, ask a man. Don't ask a friend, don't ask somebody you put into the friend zone. He'll lie to you as much as your girlfriends will because he wants to get into your pants. You put him in the friend zone and he's stayed there because he thinks he's got a shot. And as I said in a previous video, the men's zone, no place, the friend zone, no place for a man to exist. He's absolutely honest. Any decent man is going to say, I'm not sitting here. I'm getting on with my life. I'm not waiting for you. The older you get, the more damage you get, the more failed relationships you have behind you. What's in that for me? No, I'm out of here. And you lose that person that was probably ideal for you. But he wasn't the bad boy, he wasn't the chad, he wasn't the sigma male. Not an alpha male, the sigma male. All of those things. So if you really want to know what your SMV is, ask somebody who's going to be honest with you. A man who will give you his opinion. And don't get upset when you get the truth. Because you will get upset. Because it will shatter all of your illusions you have of yourself. And like I said, if you've got a kid in tow, or more than one kid in tow, your actual sexual marketplace value, if you've got one, half your SMV. If you've got more than one, now you take a few more points off. You're going to get down into the ones and twos. And that's what you deserve. You deserve whatever it is that you truly reflect. Because most of us do. We, we actually get what we reflect. If we're a, think of ourselves as a five, we, yeah, we want a seven or eight or a nine. We want all the beauties, of course we do. But we will settle for somebody who is even a little bit lower than us. If we're getting all of our needs met. met. So you women out there, when you see a good looking guy who's probably earning good money and he's settled and he's got his life together, and you see him with a woman who you're going, why is she with, why is she with him? I mean, she's, she's not stunning. That's because he's getting what he wants out of that relationship and he's happy. And she's supplying. You're not. You've got an overinflated ego and an overinflated opinion of your SMV. And we guys are going, no, you're not that. And you thinking you're that is actually a massive red flag and I'm running away from it. Anyway, guys, do you agree with what I said? If you do, leave it down in the comments below. Any women watching this and think that I'm full of it, tell me why in the comment below. But, as I keep saying, argue the point, not the person. I don't deal with ad hominem attacks. They mean nothing to me. I don't care, ladies, what you think of me. Absolutely couldn't care less. But you men, I do care what you think because you're my brothers. And if you're not already a brother, hey, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification. That way you don't miss out on future content. And you really don't want to miss out because I've got some great subjects and great content coming out every day. I upload every single day. Anyway, my name's Andy R. This is the Brotherhood of Men. And I will talk to you soon because I'm going for a cup of tea because I think I've earned one. And as I say, you look after yourselves, because if you don't, 
Who's going to? Bye now.